cybernetics. So we've talked a little bit about cyborgs, and we've, we've definitely seen Ghost in the Shell together. So let's talk a little bit about cybernetics. So cybernetics is a theory of communications, and at the core of it is the idea of command and control. So this is the idea that you give a command, something happens, something changes, and then there's feedback. So did the command work? Did the, you have the intended outcome? And you start to think about these systems of command, control, and feedback in terms of circuits. The word cybernetics comes from the Greek kybernetes, which means steersman, which is steersman is, um, do you know? Well, oh, some, not all of you may know. So a steersman is the person who sits in the back of a boat, you know, like with a big tiller and steers the boat. In the old style boat before steering wheels, the steersman would have, have a rudder. Interestingly, the word, the Greek word kybernetes is also the root of the word governor. And as you know, a governor is like a human ruler of a kind of state, a polity. But a governor is also a technical word in engineering for a component inside of a machine that governs some rhythm of, it, of, its, of its operation. Like the governor controls the speed and frequency of rotations in, in a flywheel, for example. So in this film, it's nice to think that the children are doing cybernetics. The children are sending out a signal, a command signal, and they're trying to control the detectives to find them and get them out. And they, every murder is another attempt to communicate. And they get feedback and then they do another murder, eventually resulting in Batu and Togusa setting them free. Um, so here is a basic cybernetic diagram a basic cybernetic process diagram, the one developed by Norbert Wiener, who is considered the father of at least the scientific articulation of cybernetics. So you can see it's quite simple. There's inputs, there's a process, there's outputs, and then there's a feedback where you consider the outputs in relation to the, what you desire, the outcome that was desired when you put in the inputs. So the idea is your inputs into the system, into the process, are adjusted on the basis of the difference between your expectations and the actual results. This is Norbert Wiener. He's famous for developing cybernetics, and it was initially, he was thinking through missile control systems in World War II. And this is when he started coming up with these ideas. But eventually he extended his theory to consider how humans control humans with cybernetics. So in some ways, this film is very much coming out of these ideas about how humans control humans and whether or not we have free choice or if we're just being controlled by various circuits or programmed. This is interesting to consider. This is a more complex cybernetic diagram. This one modeling sales effectiveness at a major department store, hiring and firing. I just wanted to throw this in here as a, an example of the real use of cybernetics for controlling, for humans controlling humans. In some ways, I think of it through puppetry uh, because these dolls are, are puppets. But it, you can also think about the different aspects of society that control you or control something are like puppet strings. This is Donna Haraway. This is here, she's a dog lover like Batu. And of course, Donna Haraway appears in the film. I don't know if you remember the doctor well, of course you remember, we, we saw her with her cybernetic eyes in the last uh, video. So that was a representation of Donna Haraway, who's a, a historian of biology and a theorist of, of the philosophy of science. And she wrote a, this influential paper that I hope you're going to read. It's linked in the page, and it's a, cybernetic manif a cyborg manifesto. 
And she lays out a kind of argument that we are all already cyborgs, that we are acting on and influenced by the social circuitry, the social feedback loops that are conditioning us, um, including people like our dogs. And this is Do Ka Donna's dog, Cayenne. They were uh, award-winning uh, show competition pair, the two of them. So here she is in the film explaining to us how children are dolls or cyborgs. So this image is meant to show this kind of idea that people or cyborgs, whether they're our characters in the movie or perhaps real people, are conditioned by loops and relays and feedbacks, things like environment, ecological relations, family, I assume family influences you, biomedicine, language, media, discursive institutions, jobs, and schools. So this is the idea that your ecological awareness and your body and mind is being shaped in a cybernetic way by the world around you. Or it's not even the world around you, it's the world that's permeating you. Importantly, cyborg figurations are both material and semiotic. So that means they have weight and mass, they're made of things, but they're also information. So they're shaping physical form and shaping interpretation and expression. I like this one because it's Batu's dog appearing in an advertisement that's showing him, showing us that he was hacked, but it, it's this, that the dog is important both as a, a fleshy dog as a real dog, but also as a dog as an idea.